obstructive sleep apnea is a condition that happens when somebody is asleep. The airway will collapse despite the person making an effort to breathe. If it's a partial collapse, it's called a hypopnea. If it collapses fully, it's called an apnea. And when this happens, it prevents the air from getting into the lungs. An apnea can last anything from 10 seconds to 40 or even 60 seconds and can happen hundreds of times a night. This then disturbs the patient's sleep, but of course the brain will eventually jolt awake during the night and the patient will start to breathe again, but only maybe for a few seconds and it repeats itself over and over again. Whilst the apnea is happening, the heart rate will vary, it'll drop and then at the end of an apnea, the heart rate will rise again. So that has an implication very often on heart rate and blood pressure as well. With obstructive sleep apnea, there are periods of heavy snoring and periods of silence during the apnea. At the end of an apnea, there's usually an explosive snoring. Not only is your sleep disturbed, but so is that of your bed partner. It's very often picked up by the bed partner, who is aware of your behaviour and your restless sleep at night. As well as the disrupted sleep at night, which means that the patient wakes up feeling unrefreshed in the morning, during the day, they become increasingly tired and often sleepy, falling asleep against their will in circumstances such as sitting down quietly reading, maybe even in an active place in the cinema or theatre or in a meeting, and sometimes, if it's very severe, even whilst they're driving. There are many risk factors to having obstructive sleep apnea. Men are more likely to have obstructive sleep apnea than women. If you're obese and maybe have a large tongue, a thick neck or large tonsils, nasal congestion and also sleeping position, you're more likely to snore and maybe have apnea if you're lying on your back and alcohol as well. Alcohol is a sedative and acts particularly on the throat muscles, relaxing them more than on nights when you don't have alcohol. Obstructive sleep apnea is associated with other very common medical conditions such as type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure and also if you have untreated obstructive sleep apnea that goes on for a long time you're more likely to have heart problems and stroke. The symptoms of having obstructive sleep apnea are twofold. There are nighttime symptoms and daytime symptoms. During the night there is that heavy snoring with periods of silence during the apnea. Sleep is also very restless with a lot of tossing and turning and you may visit the bathroom on numerous occasions. In the daytime you wake up feeling unrefreshed and as the day progresses you become more and more sleepy, falling asleep against your will in many circumstances. Performance at work and productivity can also fall, memory is impaired and also behaviour and temper is affected by years and years of poor quality sleep.